Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhawk Tactical. This week on the Tactical Rifleman YouTube channel, I've got four carbine tips on there. I'm gonna go over the Warhawk administrative low because I think it's important you understand how to load your rifle the same way each and every time. We'll talk about point of aim, point of impact with the carbine and the red dot because that's one of the biggest things I see my students struggle with. We talk about the leaf front sight post. It's important to have some type of backup irons on your carbine. And then we talk about the speed magazine change and how to do that is as efficiently as possible. Right there. So I see a bunch of guys load their rifles a bunch of different ways. So this gives you a clear, concise way how to load your rifle each and every time. So this is my downrange area. I'm going to go ahead and drive my rifle up. This gives me a chance to make sure my red dot's good. Once I'm here, my hand slides back to the magwell. Thumb goes on. My bolt lock. Lock the bolt to the rear. Secure my magazine just like I do my normal load. Goes forward, one more practice doing my magazine change. And then once I'm done, I'm coming back here. And you'll notice I'm gonna do my Warhog check. This verifies simple insurance policy I've got around in the chamber. Just let your fingers go. Use your forward assist with either your thumb or your palm. Once you're good, if you wanna sit there and close your dust cover and you're good to go. Now, we've been up here, we've done some shooting and we need to unload our rifle. Easiest thing, once we come up, boom, remove the source of feed, stow it away. Again, hand comes back, thumb on bolt lock slide goes back, visually and check the chamber and magazine area. So this way guys, it gives you a positive way to load and unload your rifle each and every time. So I just want to talk to you real quick about point of aim, point of impact with the carbine. Probably one of the biggest thing I see my students struggle with. So it's important you understand the offset between your red dot and your barrel. So what I'm going to do for this next drill to see if you a quick demonstration, I'm going to aim center for my first shot fire a shot and you'll see what will happen is I'll wind up with a bullet hole somewhere down here. Sequentially what I'll do is I can superimpose that red dot higher and then be able to get my shots in the center. So go ahead get your eyes and ears let's shoot this thing live. Alright guys so what I'm going to do is aim center mass fire that one shot that'll kind of give me my point of aim point of impact. So you can see looking down there I'm at the bottom of the dot so that tells me I'm going to superimpose for my follow-up shots. So I'm going to aim towards actually the top of the dot. And then you can see we're getting all our hits right there dead center. So understanding point of aim, point of impact, critical task when you're shooting the carbine. Run out to the range, give this a try. In this training tip, I want to talk about the importance of having some type of backup iron sights for your carbine. So in this particular case, I just have the leaf front sight post here. So again, it, I don't have to flip up a front sight post or a rear. I just have the leaf right on the IR laser there. So what I'm going to do is just give you a quick little live fire demo. Just like we did with the point of aim, point of impact, I'm gonna hold center, see where my hits are, because again, I need to understand where this front sight post is so I can make my shots. Eyes and ears, guys. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is aim center mass. Let's see where our hit's at. Eyes and ears. So again, you can see on that one, I'm towards the top, so I need to aim towards the bottom of that black to get my hits. Let's fire a group, see what happens. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's understanding, hey, where to hold that front side post to get your hits on target. Go out there to the range, try this tip, make sure you got backup irons on your rifle. In this tip, I want to talk to you about the speed magazine change with the carbine. So the speed magazine change happens when the bolt locks back to the rear. So it's important that your movements are as efficient as possible. So let me give you a quick demo. So again, I'm here, I fire my last shot, boom, the bolt locks back. I'm going to place my select lever on safe, drop the mag, I keep the rifle in the shoulder, it rolls in, I use my thumb to hit my bolt release, come back on, and I'm ready to make my engagement. So do this guys, go ahead and get your eyes and ears on, let me give you a good live fire demo. Alright guys, so the way I've got this drill set up is I've got two rounds in there because I want you to fire the first round, feel the, feel the full impulse of the recoil, and then fire the second round, you'll feel that bolt lock back to the rear. Stand by. Gun goes dry, mag comes out, goes in, bolt forward. And then again, at this point, I still want to go through my actions of conducting my Warhog Ghost Reload, so I still get one more practice in there. So again, guys, I'm always looking to train, always want to do that one more step to add to my efficiency when I'm out there training on the range. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Train hard and stay safe. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.